Wasi 2020 elective mass question number 12 the probabilities that Golu, Kofi and Barry will win a competition are 1 over 32 over 5 and 1 over 2 respectively find the probability that only two of them wins the competition so only two of them wins now let's see so the A 12A um, so the probability that Golu will win so probably that J will win is giving us 1 over 3. Hence, the probability that Golu will not win this is equal to 1 minus 1 over 3. And this is just 2 over 3. Now, the probability that the second person is who? Kofi. Kofi will win his race. That's the second one, 2 over 5. And then the probability that Kofi will not win. That is 1 minus 2 over 5. And this is just 3 over 5. Very easy. And then the probability that um, Barry, Barry, Barry will win the race. Yes, that is 1 over 2. So the probability that Barry will not win the race is 1 minus 1 over 2 and this is just 1 over 2. Now the question is we find the probability that only two of them wins the competition. So probability only two wins. Only two wins. So here it can either be when Golu wins, Kufu win, and then Barry will not win this first instance or Golu will win, Kofi will not win, and then Barry will win because two. So this GMB is winning. Or Golu will not win, Kofi will win, and Barry too will win. So only two wins the race. This is independent events. If you want a review of it, can you go to my YouTube page? There's a whole lot of problems solved under probability in data go there and go and have a review of it now let's see so from here golu wins that is one over three kofi wins that is two over five and barry not winning that's just one over two now the second one golu winning that's just one over three kofi not winning that is just three over five and then barry winning that's just one over two plus golu not winning golu not winning that's two over three kofi winning that's two over five and barry winning that's one over two now one times two that's two times one two so you have two all over three times five fifteen times two thirty plus now let's see here we have three all over 30 plus two times two four so we have four all over three five fifteen times two we have 30 so all the lcm are the same so that's over 30 so we have two plus three plus four and this is just nine over 30 we can cancel with three three we're going to nine three times three we're going to ten thirty that's ten times so that's just three all over. Then that is very, very easy. I don't know why students shouldn't be yearning to see probability questions that and solve them. What's the 2020? Question number 12B. 10 eggs are picked successfully with replacement from a lot containing 10% defective eggs. Find the probability that at least two are defective. And clearly this is binomial distribution. Now let's see. So there be 10 X are picked successfully. So our N is 10. Now we are being told that from a lot containing 10% defective. So clearly the probability of success is 10%, which is just the same as one all over 10. And then so our Q will be, we know Q is one minus P. And it's just 1 minus 1 over 10. And this is just 9 over 10. 
But then our binomial distribution function is giving x that is n combination r p to the power r q to the power n minus r. Now the question asks is that find the probability that at least two are defective. So probability of at least two at least two are defective. And this is the same as at least two, that is x greater or equal to two. At least two, two or more. So it means that we move two, three, four, five, six, all the way to 10. That is a whole lot. So let's take the complement of it. And this is just the same as one minus probability less than two. That's it. Now, why are we saying this? We are saying this because the probability that an event occurs plus the probability that an event doesn't occur is equal to one. So if we want probability at least two, that would be just one minus the complement of this would give us. And this is just the same as one minus P. So here we can have that is X equal to zero plus P X equal to one less than two. So two is not part. So this equal to, we have one minus, what's the probability function? That is the binary distribution function. So here R is zero, so N is 10, so 10 combination zero. What is our P? One over 10 to the power zero. And then what is our Q? What is our Q? Our Q is nine over 10. So that's nine over 10. Now don't forget that is N minus R, so 10 minus zero, that is 10 plus this uh, r is 1 to so 10 combination 1. We have 1 over 10 all to the power 1. And then our q, 9 over 10. Now this is what 10 minus 1, which is to the power 9. And when we work out this, we will get 1 minus. Now the first one is giving us that is 0 0.34869. And then this is also given at 0 0.38742. So we have one minus, now working out all this, we get 0 0.73611. And then this will give us 0 0.2638. Now the question says that to, they give us any decimal place? No, they didn't give us, let's suppose that we are living to three, significant figures so i'm um, three significant figures yeah